Has AI killed human creativity as we know it? For those of you giving up on fine art, I've got a message for you at the end. And for everybody out there, there's a way to win $50. Some of you may have heard that in Colorado, there was a state fair that awarded first place to an AI generated painting. Jason Allen created this using a software called Midjourney. He was able to format it into a larger landscape and then put it on canvas. Now, he technically did not paint this himself. He did use the software. And there are people out there that are concerned. As a Twitter user, Omnimorpho put it, we're watching a death of artistry unfold before our eyes. Do you think maybe that's the case? Maybe it's time for art to evolve? Maybe our understanding of art? Maybe humans need to get better at it. Well, I'm not concerned about this. I think all art can be beautiful, even AI art. If you read into Alan's response, he didn't simply just open up the app and say opera art, and that's what spat out. He took weeks to make sure that his images came out at least somewhat what he wanted to. Even after that, it took hundreds of images for him to find three that he was able to submit. If you took weeks to create a piece of photography, a GIF, a meme, anything, people wouldn't bat an eye. So is this AI software really that different? Or is it just another media? Might I add, it is gorgeous. I'm sure I'm going to butcher this pronunciation, but Jason Allen's art of theater, the opera, spatial, via AI software, mid-journey. I'm sure there's plenty of people out there right now just cringing at the way I just said that. Now, here's a little word for those out there who think this is the death of creativity. You're wrong. If anything, this should motivate you, this should drive you into creating something even more special. Just because an AI created it doesn't mean that you can't make anything better. This is a call for you to level up your game. No time for that scarcity mindset. There's abundance in this world. Don't forget, humans had to create that AI in the first place. We hold power. You control your outcomes. Figure out what you're trying to create refine it, get the skills needed for it, and make it. The world will be a better place if you create your art. So please, make it, put it out there, and let us enjoy it. It doesn't matter if it's AI or not. It's all beautiful. With that being said, here's a challenge for you. Now, I'm not going to put any rules against AI use, but I'd like to keep it strictly human-based as in photography, painting, even digital art, just make it still art. Create something new this month. If you've been holding off and hesitating and just waiting for the right moment, this is it. I want you to start creating something today. To enter, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. On there, I'll have a post that says how to enter the giveaway, share that, then upload your own photo onto your profile and tag Zelic Media into it. On October 1st, I will announce the winner to a $50 gift card to B&H. They have a lot of photo and video stuff along with other electronics. They are not sponsoring this video, but I do like their products and their customer service, so I figured you would appreciate a gift card from them. If you do enter, I might use your art in a video in the future as a thank you for everyone who has entered and display it to the world. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Remember, AI will not ruin the creativity. If anything, it should drive you to work even harder. Catch you next time. Take care.